Welcome to Family Gamer TV. Now, if you have been tracking with the channel, you know we had a close look at the new BattleBox Hexbugs toys from um, Toy Fair this year. Um, but one of the creators of a robot from Battle BattleBox, Ray Billings, who's the creator and driver of Tombstone, popped up on YouTube and said, hey, that's my robot. Nice to see it as a toy. So we've got Ray here to tell us what it's like to create a robot for these massive sort of high profile battles. So welcome to the show, Ray. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. So, so how long have you been working with Tombstone? Um, I've built in combat robots for about 15, 16 years now. Uh, Tombstone first started out in 2003 as a super heavyweight, a 340 pounder. Um, the, when the BattleBots came back on the air, they had an unusual weight category of 250 pounds, and I rebuilt Tombstone for that category at that time. And so we just had a series of BattleBots which I've not seen it myself, but I understand you did pretty well. Uh, the show was fantastic. The matches were really great. I ended up taking second place overall, uh, losing a rough match in the finals where I set myself on fire. Which isn't a, a, a winning strategy, I take it. I, it's not usually a winning strategy, although I, I have actually won a match or two where I've been on fire at the end of the match. So it, it doesn't always mean you're going to lose, but I did this time. And so um, what sort of state is Tombstone in now? Um, is he there in pieces, or...? Uh, yeah, Tombstone is in, in the process right now of disassembly so I can check it all out. Um, it's amazing how much stress there is on the frame and the parts inside the robot. So whenever a, 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 an event is done, I have to disassemble it completely and check for cracks and damage all throughout the robot. Yeah, nice. I we can see that here. And so what sort of equipment do you have in your garage, garage here? To, to mean that you can work on technology like this? Well, I, I have a lot of fabrication equipment. So I've got a, a full-size mill. I've got a decent-sized lathe, um, three different welders, um, and just a, just a lot of space. When you're working on robots of that size, you need a lot of room. So um, I have quite a bit of tooling at this point in time. Uh, <laughs> I always have desire for more. It's kind of like toys. You can never have enough. Yeah, nice. And so, um, you know, you popped up to comment on the, these Hexbugs sort of miniature versions. I think there's a couple of different versions of Tombstone in their line. Um, so what was it like? Is, is it what you expected? Does it live up to your expectations? You know, I, honestly, I think they did a really good job on them. They look fantastic. I think they're going to be really fun for people to play with. And actually, your video was the first time I've seen them. I, I knew that they were in the process of building them. I've been in contact with the toy company off and on so they can get measurements and specifications so they could make them to scale and make them correctly. But that was actually the first time I'd seen them, you know, on video at all, and they looked fantastic. I, I can't wait to <laughs> get, get my own toy of my big RC toy so I can play with them here at home. Yeah, nice. And so, I mean, we've got some battling here on the screen. In, maybe in, in the, for the toys as well as for the real robots, what's the technique? What's the best way to win a BattleBots fight? Uh, well, you know, if you have a, a weapon like mine or like the spinner that Witch Doctor has, the, the biggest thing is trying to make sure you hit the spot on the other guy you want to. A lot of them will have armor and what, and they have spots you can't really damage them. And so they'll try to feed the, 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 those hard spots into your weapon. If you're the bot with the weapon, you've got to try to drive around them and get to their wheels or their side panels or things like that. And that's sort of recreated in the toys, isn't it? Because these, these side panels sort of fling off, and then when there's nothing left, I guess that's when you've won. I don't think you actually sort of damage the other robot obviously otherwise your toy would be broken <laughs> yeah I, the, the, the toys are built like that so that you know you can simulate damage and whatnot but you can snap them back together they're actually built very well for that so it's something that you can play with over and over again and sort of simulate the damage you'd have in a real match but not break the toy but you can't keep playing with it yeah nice and well I'm, I'm in the UK and so for me I first came into contact with sort of these big fighting robots by the Robot Wars series on the BBC, but I've, I wonder if you could settle something for me, because I'm not sure which came first. Was it Robot Wars in the UK, or was BattleBots a thing in the US first? Do you, do you know which was first? I, my understanding is that BattleBots was first, um, and then moved across the across the pond to the UK. 
And I, I know that some of the UK teams did come over for the last BattleBot season. Um, there was there were several of them. Um, and so, I mean, the, the characters I remember from the uh, the early shows in the UK were like Hypno Disc and some of those. So, there. What do you think of the top robots that you've seen on the Robot Wars side? The the Razor team actually came over for to BattleBots this season, and they brought their uh, um, their big spinner warhead and came over and mm -hmm. it, it's an unbelievably beautifully designed machine the, the guys they really know what they're doing they're they're a, a top-notch team yeah it's nice and certainly well from the popularity app of, the, of the, this video of the toys on youtube there's certainly a big appetite and also in a younger audience too so um, we'll keep tracking with both the toys and the shows but maybe we'll check back with you um at a later today once we have more toys to see but for now thanks for your time it's really appreciate it Oh, I, I'm happy to have, happy to be here, happy to give you any info that I can, and I don't know, like I said, just happy to be involved. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to see those toys up. They're going to be fantastic. Great. And I think that the, the Skype call just about held up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> cool. cool. See you again. Thanks a lot. <laughs>